Hello, I am Katrina McDonough, and this is my poster on the underlying mechanisms of visual perspective taking, a project that was funded by an EPS small grant. Visual perspective taking allows us to appreciate how the world looks to other people and is an important social skill that can facilitate empathising and mentalising abilities. To uncover the underlying mechanisms of visual perspective taking, this large online project had three main aims to uncover what features are required to trigger spontaneous visual perspective taking, whether visual perspective taking can be intentionally controlled, and what individual differences drive these visual perspective taking abilities. The project had two experiments using the same classic mental rotation task, which typically shows faster reaction times for letters presented upright to the participant, and slower reaction times the more the letter is rotated away. Perspective taking was measured by inserting another agent into the scene on the left or on the right and measuring how much faster reaction times are when the letter appears upright to the agent compared to when rotated away from the agent. We also, also measured individual differences in social ability, mental imagery ability and autistic and schizotypy traits. Experiment one tested the features that trigger spontaneous perspective taking by varying the type of agent in the scene. We used either a human, a robot, a mannequin, a dog and a lamp. The results showed that overall participants spontaneously took the perspective of the agent in the scene, showing faster reaction times for letters upright to the agent and slower reaction times when upside down to the agent. Crucially, the spontaneous perspective taking was larger for those agents which the participants individually rated as looking more human-like and more able to think like a human. We also showed that those higher in certain schizotypy traits showed less spontaneous perspective taking. Experiment 2 tested intentional control of perspective taking by instructing participants in separate blocks to either take the perspective of the agent ignoring their own perspective or ignore the agent's perspective and stay in their own perspective. The agent in this experiment was always human. We showed that participants could do this well with higher perspective taking scores when instructed to take the agent's perspective compared to when instructed to suppress this. We also showed the opposite effect on own perspective scores, which is just the equivalent to the mental rotation effect. Again, we showed that those high in schizotypy traits showed less perspective taking for the agent staying in their own perspective more. The results showed that spontaneous perspective taking is triggered by the human likeness of an other agent in terms of their appearance and their human-like mind, and that visual perspective taking can be intentionally controlled by shifting between own perspective and the perspective of another. Those high in certain schizotypy traits seem to have particular difficulty taking the perspective of another, instead staying in their own perspective. Thank you.